So before we get to the actual uh, showing you how to do it, I'm going to just mention it because in the, the actual uh, walkthrough of the video, I'm not going to be uh, talking through it. But what you want to do is basically get the panger to ether first and then rage. Because if you get him to rage, and then it's basically going to jump between raging and ether back and forth. You'll never. Uh, well, for me, he, he did it maybe once, and then he wouldn't do it again until I killed him. So basically, never got it done. So you want to ether charge him. Uh, basically, as you'll see in the video, you basically roll around until he, he'll roll around four or five times his tail get frosted, and then he'll go ether mode. And then at that point, you want to start doing attacks on him and hit him, knock a quarter of his uh, health out. And once you start knocking a quarter of his health out, he'll rage. So as long as he's still ether uh, charged, he'll then rage. Therefore, at that point, that's when you want to basically attack him. Uh, if you're wanting to see what my build is on this, um, this is pretty much going to be my build. So I'm using the uh, hammer build because that I feel like that it's easier for me to, to break parts. And here's going to be all my helmet, the armor, my gauntlets, boots. And I have potions or tonics, but I don't really use them. So if you look off to the right side, you'll see this plus six ether hunter, pulse, plus six, pulse, plus six sharpen, plus three adrenaline, plus three ether attunement, plus three blade storm, plus three cascade, and three energize. And let me show you those cells. Adrenaline cell prismatic. You can do any evasive. Uh, pretty much have valor decree. Secondary. Bomb beneficial boost. And on my helmet, I got a pulse. For my armor, I doubled up on pulse. And then for my gauntlets, I'm doing to increase the rate charge of my uh, lantern. That way, I basically can throw the axe a lot quicker. Uh, and then increasing weapon meter gain rate. So that's my build. For me, this build pretty much allows me to break parts pretty easy. Hey, if you're not supporting a creator, I would appreciate your support. Just go ahead and type in Roland Swollen on your supported creator and hit the accept button.